Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video, we will be discussing in detail about how to set up taxes in Odo 40. So we can set tax for a product, company and as well as a, an account. So first of all, let us see how we can configure taxes. For that, inside accounting configuration, we have we can configure taxes. So let us create a new tax inside which we can give tax name then we have tax computation so in what way a tax is computed there are different options you can see percentage of price fixed group of taxes percentage of price tax included and python code so in case of percentage of price tax amount is calculated uh, with the uh, percentage of the total price then it can be fixed also like a fixed amount can be set as the tax then group of tax we'll be discussing more about it later in this video then we can set a tax as active or we can disable the tax then tax type that is which means determines where the tax is selectable so there are three options sales purchases and none so I'm setting it as sales then none means a tax can't be used by itself however it can still be used in a group then tax group so this is actually used to restrict the use of taxes to a type of product so while uh, setting services it will be restricted to services so I'm not setting anything then amount percentage how much percentage so I'm setting it as 20 percentage so this much amount of price will be taken as tax then we have definition that is for distribution of invoices uh, for invoices and credit notes so we can uh, repartition uh, we create repartition of tax for invoice and credit notes so you can see um, so based on uh, base amount or base with uh, some percentage of tax we can partition the amount then we can add an account here then tax grid can be added so it can so that we can it can be used in tax report so the same way credit notes then we have advanced option where we can add a label on invoices then tax group the to the group to which this tax belongs so i'm setting it as tax or otherwise gst okay it has gst or tax whatever you can set that then company name then included in price so we should check this if the price you use on the product and invoices includes this tax then effect price base of subsequent taxes so if set then taxes which are computed after this one will be computed based on the price tax included then reverse charge so if the tax is reverse charged we can uh, tick this option so this is seen for in the accounting only so everything is set now let us save this so this tax is only available for sales gst 20 percentage so you can see this so after that let us go to sales products and here we have a product so you can create new product and set tax no so here um, let me set a tax you can see for GST so this is our tax you can see that GST 20 percentage and if I save this and while I am creating sale order see 
by default that tax is added to this order line because we have set a default uh, tax inside the product configuration so in this way we can set tax inside product so the, then inside configuration settings we also have we can, we can also set default tax for a company uh, that is sales tax and purchase tax you can set default sales tax and purchase tax for a company so it you can see it is gst 5 percentage for both so if you having set a default tax inside the product then by default this company tax will be taken so here suppose i'm taking so let us create a new product box what you can see here you can see uh, by default gst 5 per percentage which was set on the company tax inside settings you can see so by default it is added for the customer tax then suppose if i change this to a different tax i set this so let's see what happens when you sell this product Creating zero to four aluminum box. You can see uh, the taxes IGST two percentage, which is the default set uh, tax set for the product, and not uh, not the company tax. So priority is given to product tax. So when you set a product tax and company tax, then product tax will be taken. And if you haven't set any product tax, then company tax will be taken. Then there is another case that is account tax. I will show it. Let's go to accounting. Where we have chart of accounts let's take an account local sales this is the income account let's set up this chart of account where we can add a default tax so from here let's take a set tax IGST 28% and let's save this and let's go back to our product so this is our product and you can see um, we have set the default product tax that is IGST 2% and we have a different company tax and also we have set a account tax so you have to make sure that the income account so it will be local sales itself so I have set tax for default tax for account company and product the priorities uh, higher priority is given to product then account then company uh, suppose if I haven't set default tax for the product then account tax will be taken and if there is no account tax then company tax will be taken so i have uh, removed the product default tax then after saving let's create an invoice in accounting aluminum box i have choose an aluminum box and you can see default tax here 
tax taken is IGST 20 percentage which is a tax set on the account that is local sales so if you haven't set account tax also then company tax will be taken so this is how it works now let's see how tax splitting is done so let's go to tax come back to tax and create a new tax where we can uh, here we are going to create a tax and splitting to two other tax two other child taxes so let us create a tax that is IGST 7 percentage So let us create so let us create a tax that is IGST 7 percentage and then tax combination let us set it as group of taxes so that you can split the tax to two other taxes here you can see the definition changed here let us add IGST 2 percentage then IGST 5% so it is split to two other taxes you can see the amount also here then so this is amount that is set inside these taxes then you can see set the tax type and tax scope so this is how uh, we set up taxes in order 14 accounting if you are interested in knowing more about this or looking for any order implementation or customization in your business drop your request to order at cyprocess.com